In this video, we're going to be discussing lifelines in your knitting. I've got one placed here. These are placed horizontally across your work so that if you have to rip back for any reason, you've got live stitches to pick up. To follow along with what I'm doing, I've got some information about this swatch in the description below the video, but essentially what you're going to need is a bit of a swatch, and I've knit mine up in half stockinette, stockinette stitch and half garter stitch. You're going to want two lengths of waste yarn or dental floss or another smooth product that you can weave through your stitches and a tapestry needle. I find ones that have a little bit of bend on the end are a little bit easier to work with, but it's certainly not a requirement. So before we go ahead and place our lifelines, I just wanna talk about materials that you can use to thread through your live stitches. Um, you can certainly use a smooth waist yarn that is the same weight or smaller than the work that you're, or the yarn that you're using for your project. Um, another option that's really lovely is dental floss because it's nice and smooth and it will pull out of even the stickiest of yarns. Or you can use this nylon cord that I have. Um, I have a product that is called the Chinese Knot Cord from TanglesAndKnots.com, but it's a product I think you could easily find on any crafting website and they come in wonderful bright colors so you'll always have a contrasting color for the project that you're working with. So there are two different ways that you can place a lifeline in your work. The first of which is to place the lifeline through the live stitches on your needle. This is obviously going to be a lot easier because the stitches are available for you right on the needle. And to do that, you're going to thread your um, tapestry needle with whatever material you're going to use to um, place your stitches on. And you're simply going to work without working your working yarn, just hold it to the back. You're just gonna slip the needle through all of the stitches on your working needle without letting them fall off the end like I am. <laughs> and you're just gonna insert your needle from right to left or purl wise across all of the stitches on your needle. Uh, if you were working something like brioche where you've got wrapped stitches, you're just gonna wanna make sure that on the slip one yarn over stitches where you have a wrap, that this goes through both the live stitch and the wrap. So now that I've worked to the end of the row, uh, threading my waist yarn through all of the live stitches, if I wanna continue to work past this point, it's fairly easy to do. You will just hold your waist yarn or um, cord out of the way, pick up your second needle, and you can start working across the row and the, or the, um, thread or the yarn that you threaded through your stitches will remain in place in that row that you've just worked without getting twisted. So it's still easy to pull through those stitches without getting caught in your work. So now I want to demonstrate how to place a lifeline into your work below your working yarn, or pardon me, below the live stitches on your needle. That you might use this in a case where you've been knitting and you've perhaps realized you've knit too far past your target length and you want to be able to rip back your work to a particular length. So the way to do this is you thread your tapestry needle with your waist yarn, and I'm gonna come back to garter stitch on the other side of the swatch. You want to insert under the right leg of your stitch and pull it through. And then you're gonna to go to the next one in the same row, go under the right leg only, and pull it through. One more time, right leg, and pull it through. And what you're doing is trying to mimic the way that these need or stitches would be placed on your needle if you were picking them up with the needle as opposed to picking them up with your waist yarn. So I'm gonna work across the rest of the stockinette stitch and then I'll show you what to look for in garter stitch. So we've placed our lifeline through the right leg of each stitch in one row across the stockinette stitch. And now we wanna continue across the same row in garter stitch. But because it's a much shorter fabric, you can even see how condensed it is vertically. You need to pull your fabric apart and look for the same stitch in that same row, which is going to be this V. So you're gonna go under the right leg of the V and pull it through Similarly here, the right leg of the V 
right leg of the V. You certainly don't have to pull it through after every stitch. Right leg of the V. And whoops, just the right leg only. And you're going to do that all the way to the end of the row. So because we needed to rip back down to our lower lifeline, I've removed the needle and I've been pulling out the stitches just as I would if I were frogging some work that I had done. So I'm going to pull that yarn until I can pull it no more because it stopped at my lifeline. So now what we need to do is place those stitches back on the working needle so we can continue knitting in, let's say, a different pattern, whatever the reason was that you stopped or you needed to place your lifeline. So I only have the working needle that I used for the sample, but you may find it easier to place these stitches back on your needle using a, size, a needle size that is smaller than the one you used for the project. So what you're going to do is simply insert your needle from right to left, so purlwise, to mount that stitch back on your needle in the correct orientation. You can leave the lifeline in the stitches until you get all of the stitches back on your needle and then remove it once you've got them all back on the needle. But the nice thing, oh, you can just pull that down. <laughs> it will ride up the stitches. The nice thing about this is all of your stitches will now go back on the needle in the correct orientation and you can either leave the waist yarn here in case you feel you might need to rip back down to it again or pull it out and be prepared to put it up in the project later on. Please let me know if you have any questions and happy knitting.